Today we're going to script a multi-messenger patch from SE11 and 11.5 in Visual Basic.net. I'm going to use Visual Basic 2010 Express and we're going to go ahead and start a new project. Windows Form Application. Now the basics we're going to do on this is we're going to have a label to tell us whether it's enabled or not on the system and an on and off button. So I'll go to my toolbox. I am a little laggy for right now for some reason. I have no idea why. We're going to add two buttons. And we're going to add us a label. Now on my label I'm going to change the size here. I don't like the auto size true. I like it false so I can drag it out here a bit. And I am going to call my label stats. Now my label text I'm just going to get rid of. Let's go to the text delete. I suppose we can form this form down a little bit. And what we're going to do first here is we're just going to double click on our form. And we'll do me.text equals, and then we'll do a literal string of uh, multi messy patch. Now, if you hit run, you're just going to get your simple form. It says multi messy patch on it. Now we'll go back to our form. And actually, I'm going to set my startup position on this to center screen. So when we start this up each time on run, it'll be right there where you guys can see it. It's not off screen. Now, let's go back to our code. I'm actually going to add a function here. We're going to do private sub check multi status now we got our sub here and this is what we're gonna call to we're actually gonna do this on startup too so I'm gonna copy and put this in my form load now our check multi status we're gonna need a to store a value a string value here so I'm gonna do dim the value as string. That's one thing I love about .NET, man, is I can just lowercase it as I'm typing and it'll just like as string just pops into the right context or syntax. Uh, then we'll do the value equals my computer dot registry dot get value. You notice you have these pop-up boxes. You can just click on this too to make your life a little bit easier. And I'm going to continue the string. Go to the next line and make some parentheses for my H key underscore current underscore user. And then we're going to do a backslash software this is going to be our, our location in a registry where we want to do our values. So we're going to do Yahoo. If you actually follow this path, like open regedit and follow this path, you can find the same path. So I'm going to make one called test. And then I'm going to do plural as a literal here. And then set it for nothing. parentheses. Now we're going to need an if and an statement. Basically we have the value. It's going to go get the value from our location right there. So we need an if and then and an if and then else statement to basically detect whether it's enabled or disabled. That's why it's calling it from the form load and we're going to call it from our buttons too to set our label status. So if the value equals zero then 
we're going to do stats, which that's our label, dot text equals, and then we're going to do, since it equals zero, it's going to be disabled. So we'll do status colon multi messy disabled. And then our else, we're going to do stats dot text equals oops status multi messy enabled and we gotta remember to end our if but it already did it for us another thing you gotta love about microsoft.net and that's our basic sub to check our multi status which we're calling to when we start our form load actually I don't know if I have it enabled or disabled on this machine because I do use it so let's run it and check it out oh I already have it enabled so we're gonna want to be able to turn this on and off so let's stop it and I'm gonna go to my buttons here I'm gonna actually change what these say we'll make button one enable By editing our property text button two Disable. Could have just done this in form load too by assigning that, but oh well. Now we're going to actually program our buttons here. So, what we're going to do to enable, so I'm going to double click on the button, which generates our code right here. And then I'm going to do my computer dot registry dot set value and then we're going to do our path h key we could actually just you know what to make this a little bit easier this is going to be my path so I'm just going to grab it and pop that in there And out my quotation marks, comma, plural, quotation marks, comma. Ah, uh, it's not a comma, it was an apostrophe. Then we're going to set our value here, which is going to be zero, 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 one. Then we're going to do our registry value kind D word which is going to be Microsoft dot win 32 dot registry oops value kind dot D word and my parentheses at the end now we're going to want to check our status, so we're going to do check multi, yeah, basically what just popped up right there. Now when we do this, it's going to assign our value in our registry, and it's going to call for our sub check multi status, which is going to change our label on there. So we're going to program our next button now, which is going to be our disable. And actually, the only difference on our disable is going to be the value for our registry. So I'm going to click on this to create my, my sub there. And then I'm just going to copy and paste button one here. But I'm going to change my, my value here to zero, basically setting it to nothing. So this is going to be disabling it. Then we're going to check our multi-status. So now we start this up. Our status is multi messy enabled. If we disable it, multi messy disabled, we can re enable it, disable it, and you're good to go. So, if you want to check and see this code on our forums, I will post the link below the patch and hope this helps somebody out and start making some Yahoo toys. Have fun.